as they continue their dominance in the Centennial Division. Here comes the softball dads. Ooh, the, the champs getting a second loss. And the, the softball second. dads, once again, another big win. The softball dads could be the team to beat here in the in the ancient conference. Philosophers beat the Outback. Here come the front runners versus the Buckaroos. Front runners get the win. Softball dads have a deceptive name. They do have a deceptive name. If you look at their you look at their logo, it's a big softball with a mustache on it. You think, you know, they're they're just a bunch of guys who like to have fun. No, but they like to win as well. Hosers win one to nothing as they get a five game win streak. The hosers looking to get their way, fight their way back to the top of the division. Burglars come through and win. They were in the back of the division. Now they have successfully come through. The dads with another win go to eight and two on the year. Razzles get absolutely thrashed by the hunters. And the specters are going to beat the scroungers in a battle. High scoring game, 10 to seven. Hosers are going to fall two to one to the rippers. The Buckaroos get a 12 nothing win over the night warriors. Night Warriors leading their division, and they just got completely annihilated by the last place Buckaroos. You don't like the look of that. I mean, they have the worst record, save for maybe the Outback. Blur is going to win over the Bolters. Surprise Reaper is going to win over the Serpents. You don't like to see that as the Serpents are going to fall back to two and a half games of the Brick Boys. Headbutts get a win over the Bionics. You don't like to see that. Outbreak snagging a rare win, <gasps> but now. This is the test. The Brick Boys are going to go up against the Softball Dads. I, I don't know how to feel about this. And with his four home runs, Dr. Porkchop is now tied for second in the league. Indeed, right behind Vincent Sweeney, Nance Tools, and Morgan Butters. It's going to be Shard Decker versus Vigo Maxwell. This is this is going to be this is going to be a, a, a heck of a game. Um. Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, Grizz could become a reality TV star. Um, three percent chance to become walk prone. He loses some accuracy. He gains velocity and junk. Oh, is it worth the risk, though? It's only a three percent chance to gain walk prone, though. Uh, I, I kind of like giving Salgado a little bit more junk here. That's not expensive. Okay, and he's, yeah. he's one of our starters. Game 14 junk. Does not get K-Man though. We have nothing else to, to get for these people. Sad, okay. Spectres are going to sign Manny Portillo, replacing Ellen Marzo. Okay. Okay. Softball dads uh, replace Quinn Heaps and is replaced by Mark Lawrence. Interesting. Well, a little bit of backstage drama I hear uh, as of... Uh that trade or that uh, acquisition sorry it's very interesting to see leo's still recovering so it's still going to be grace and fail honker down reno butledge q dr pork chop shutters what is this little diamond here what does that mean 
That's a good question. Uh, help. What does this diamond mean? What is this? What does this diamond mean? What is? What is this? Give me the glossary. What is? What does the diamond mean? I don't think it's gonna tell me what this diamond means. No, it's not gonna tell me what this diamond means. Is it blue? Uh. Yeah, hold on. It's it's yeah, it's blue with like a silver diamond in the middle. It means their special ability is active that game. Oh, because there's a left-handed pitcher. Okay. Okay, because there's a left-handed pitcher. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So that means she gets better contact versus left-handed bats. Okay. Okay. Um all right, okay. That's fine. Checking everything out. Uh, okay. Um, all right, I think we're good to go. The Brick Boys at seven and two versus the Softball Dads. Who will be the victor? Well, actually, I'm sorry, the Brick Boys are eight and two. Looks like this could be kind of one of these pitcher battles. Uh, the dad's very good at defense. Who will win this game? It's, I mean, the softball dads have had a, a miraculous, just absolutely Cinderella season. You'd hate to see them lose now. now Grayson Fail will be up to start it off against the softball dads. Strike one. Inside for a ball. Grayson Fail hits it. What a dive by Burnside. Unbelievable catch at the very beginning of the game. Wow. He he hit the snot out of it. The softball dads have shown up to play. Inside for a ball. Vigo Maxwell, 270 on the year. Good ERA for him. As there's a shot back up the middle by Honker down, and that's going to get a guy on board. Here comes Reno. Can he get it done? Inside for a ball. High fly ball from Reno. Here. It oh, is a fair ball. Out, just hits the wall. It's the longest single, but that brings up Butledge Q and his new biceps. Butledge Q feeling a little bit tense. Maybe he should uh check out one of those celebrity masseuses. It's and he an rounds into a double play. And that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. That's going to do it for the Brick Boys. Alex, Alexis Burnside, Ali Stein, and Braden Shisho do up in the bottom of the first against Shard Decker, one of the leaders in strikeouts on the season. Alex is, Alexis Burnside doing his best impression of Luigi's Mansion. I mean, this guy, great baseball player, but I'm telling you, he just always looks terrified. Who, who can say what's happened to him? And Shard Decker, although he is considered a K dud, is really one of the league leaders. You have to wonder if maybe they meant to call him the K dude, but they just forgot the E. Ah, uh, you know what? You know, you add a certain amount of letters, it costs more money, so that could be it. Fly ball just foul. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. The Alley Stein fouled off, and the count is 1-2. and two. Swing and fouled off again. Fouled off again. And, and he strikes her out, and that's the second strikeout for Shard Decker. 
Two batters, two strikeouts. Here's Brandon Shisho, 368, three home runs, seven RBIs. What a massive power hitter, though. He is a one of the most feared hitters in the league. I wouldn't want to meet this man in the dark alley either. He looks like he's seen some things. In there for a strike. The count is three and one. Smashed, but way foul. Wind up pitch from Decker. Smashed again. That ball is going to be foul, though. Decker winds, deals, throws. Ground ball deep into the hole. Can't get it. And He's going to get it. Dads up with the first hit on the day. Here's Jamari Tomato. Do not call him Tomato. He will fight you. Ah. Hard Farter dribbles the ball off the glove. I think that's more on uh, shutters than on Hard Farter. It was a little low. But good steal. Oh, and it looks like Tameo got absolutely fooled, and he strikes out. And although he allows the single, he did strike out three batters. And the bottom of the first is done. One hit, but nothing else. Top of the second, Dr. Porkchop shutters and Harley McCormick do up for the Brick Boys. Here comes Dr. Porkchop, arguably one of the hottest hitters in baseball right now. Rips it. But the left fielder there to make wow. the grab. Nice catch by Schneider. What a hit, though. It looks like the, the Brick Boys are getting a hold of the ball. They're just hitting it right at people. Chopped foul. Up high for a ball. Knocked foul. The count is one and two. Swinging a fly ball to left field. Under it is Shisho for the out. Here comes Harley McCormick. Fouls it off. Swing and a miss. Almost went for it. But it turned out to be low. Swinging into the hole. Stein's got it. Throw to first. Gets it out. And that's going to do it for the for the Brick Boys. Softball dads do up in the bottom of the second. Jesse Chuffchester, Javier Nash, and Allison Doyle do up for the dads. 0-0 zero, zero tie. Going into the second. The Here comes Jesse Chuffchester. Jeff Chester batting an anemic 161. You want to see her do better, but like, let's see. Hits it foul. Is it in play? Hunker down. Can't get to it. Just out of play. Fouled off again. Trying to get her to go after it. Just a little low. Swing and a miss. Catches are swinging for the first out. And that is the fourth strikeout for Shard Decker. Strike one. Swinging a ground ball. They actually got a hold of it. And it's not a strikeout. I guess that's a positive. Allison Doyle is now up, batting 417 on the year. Strike one. Just a bit inside. Swing and a miss. Fools are with the, the uh, slider there. 
Pops and it way up. Pops it up. Going his honker down. Can he get to it? And he's got it in foul territory. Three down for the dads. As there's no runs, no hits, no errors. Top of the third. Cody Hard Farter, Brick Housing, Grayson failed due up for the Brick Boys. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Now batting the second baseman, number 12. Here comes Hard Farter. He's had a good couple games. Really doing a good job getting on base. There's low for a strike. Can't quite catch up to that pitch. Fouls it off. Good pitching by Vigo Maxwell right now. Making them guess. Ribbler to the third baseman. Tomeo's up with it, up to Chuff Chester for the out. Good at bat though, a lot of foul balls. Here comes Brick Howes. And there's Rips it a to base the hit. In for a single. He desperately needed a hit. And he got it. Here comes Grayson Fail. He's got a runner on. Good RBI guy for the Brick Boys. Ripped, and Shiso makes the grab. What a rip by Fail. He has been hitting the ball hard all game. Just has not found the holes. First pitch missed for a strike. Down low, low. in the dirt. There's a line drive from Honker down. You can't throw it low to him. He will line it for a base hit. Two runners on, and here comes Reno. He is also a great RBI guy. Wind up the pitch. Just a bit low. Just a bit inside. 2-0. Down low, it's 3-0, and, oh, and Vigo Maxwell's in trouble. You can tell Reno wanted it. You can tell. Reno wants it. He wants to hit it hard. High fly ball. It doesn't have the distance, though. As Burnside is under it to get them out of the inning. They get two runs on. They get two runners on, but can't drive a run in. Still 0-0. Mathis Rangel, Raymond Sh Ramon Schneider, and Alexis Burnside up for the dads here in the bottom of the third. Up first for the softball dads is Bad Jumps, Matthias Rangel. Bad Jumps. Interesting name. Interesting nickname. Short stop, routine play to first. One pitch, one out. The left fielder, number nine. <clears throat> Here comes Ramon Snyder. Hey. Snyder batting 214 on the year. No home runs, three RBIs. And he's immediately down 0 and 2. Fouls it off, just trying to stay alive. Swing and a miss, and Decker with another, and Decker with another strikeout. He is already pitching an unbelievable game here. Here comes Alexis Burnside. He struck out swinging his first time up. That ball is just foul. Just inside for a ball. Swings and fouls it off. The count is one and two to Alexis Burnside. Just Whoa. barely makes it to the base for a single. It just kicked off of Decker's glove. He had to go chase it down. It went into no man's land in the infield. Infield single. They're going to call it for Alexis Burnside. 
And, you know, Decker coming right at Stein and throws it right in the middle of the plate. Three pitches for the strikeout. And that's going to do it for the dads. They got a runner on, but that was it. Butledge Q, Dr. Porkchop, and Shutters do up in the top of the fourth for the Brick Boys. Still tied, nothing, nothing. Now batting, the center fielder, number 25. Here comes Butledge Q looking to do some damage. Inside for a ball. Inside again. Can't quite get it. Three and one pitch. Pops High it. fly ball. You can tell he charged up for that one. Just got under it. Just got under it. You're absolutely right. Here comes Dr. Porkchop. Past two games, he's hit four home runs. Can he keep up the streak today? It's Dribbles a dribbler to, to third. Tomeo up with it. Throws the first in time for the out. Two down. And here comes Shutters. Hit her first home run last game. Ooh. Tough call from the umpire there. And another dribbling grounder for another routine play. I tell you what, this pitcher has been very good today. Limiting hits and uh you know making really good pitches today's game sponsored by vertigo's pizza delivery so fast it'll make your head spin brandon shiso jamari tomeo do up for the uh for for the softball dads shiso looking on fire lately hasn't been able to convert thus far let's see if shard decker can keep him shut down Looks like, you know, it, it looks like Decker's trying to pitch around him a little bit. Probably the smart thing to do. A guy like this, you can't give too many opportunities. Dribbler to third, honker down up with it. Easily Rose. makes the play. Good play. You know, this is this has been a, a, a great series for for both teams pitching wise. You like to see this this young Brick Boys team really just showcase their good pitching. Rounder, nice play by Hard Farter. Fouls the first in time for the out. What a play by Hard Farter over there at second. Saves a hit. And now here comes Jesse Chuffchester. Wind up in the pitch. Oof. Swing a line, drive. Oh, down to the corner. And now they've got a runner on. Javier Nash looking to convert the runner in scoring position. Can he, he do can it? Come up with. First one go by. 0 oh and 1. Swing and a miss. Oh, two count. Pops it. Pops Way it. up. It's a mile high. Hard Farter is going to make his way out, and he's going to catch it. And that's going to do it for the softball dads in the fourth. Harley McCormick, Cody Hard Farter, and Brick Howes do up in the top of the fifth. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Now batting the right fielder, number 18. McCormick, if you do not know, is taking over for Live Wire Leo, who is still recovering from an injury he had to his ankle a couple games ago. Swing and a miss. And McCormick Gross. is down on strikes. He looks a little dejected. McCormick, you know, some people say may not be ready for uh, major league play here. And you know that might that might be true. This hard fart rips it to right field. There is a base hit, and he is on base again. Get your bits ready for brick house. Wind up the pitch. 
Swing up the middle. Ken dives and he can't get it. And Brick House has got another hit. He's two for two and two hunters are on for Grayson Fail. The pressure is on and this is the big, the big question. Can the Brick Boys rally? High for a ball. One and one. Ripped foul down the first base line. Looks like a double play ball here. And they get it. Oh, you hate to see it. Fail chops it the first for the double play, and the inning is over. Softball dads get themselves out of a tough inning. Lucky for them. Allison Doyle, Matthias Rangel, and Ramon Schneider do up in the bottom of the fifth for the softball dads. Still tied, nothing, nothing. Doyle having a pretty good season batting 400. People didn't expect her to be uh, doing well, especially for a team called the Softball Dads. Low and away for strike one. Dribbler to the second baseman. Hard farter, he has been busy today. Another field, another out. Here comes Matthias Wrangle. Sporting those dad shades. Low inside, strike one. Strike two, and Char Decker is cruising at this point. Strike three, and Wrangle is down on strikes. And now here comes Ramon Schneider. And once again, dad mustache. Strike number one. Inside for a ball. Schneider not really doing great this season, batting 207. Dropped foul. Not, not be enough room for Reno to go grab it. Wind up in the pitch. Strike three, and he's done for. Schneider out on strikes, and that's going to do it for the softball dads. No runs, no hits, no, no errors, no one left on. Honker down. Yuck, Reno, and Butledge Q do up in the top of the six. Still nothing, nothing. Tie ball game. The third baseman, number five. Honker down, locked in, really batting well over the past couple games. Grounder, and there's Stein. Makes One the pitch routine play. The first baseman, number 77. The question well, is, can, can Reno is get it? Can Reno get it done? Inside for a ball. Drive to center field. That's going to be in for a base hit. You, you can't lay that ball over the middle like that when it when it comes to, to Reno. He will hit it hard. Number 25. Now here comes Butledge Q and his biceps. Floats one in there for a strike. Max Looks hits like it on the ground. Double play double ball. Play. Not, Not in time. time. Fielder's choice. Leaves a runner on for Dr. Porkchop. You got to be careful for Dr. Porkchop. Oh. Right <laughs> over the middle. center. What a play. Oh, but he got him out. I can't believe it. Dr. Porkchop. Yeah. Porkchop's got to get that maple syrup off of his cleats. I agree. I agree. That was a surefire base hit. He just needs the hustle. Lexus Burnside up now for the softball dads. Burnside, a tremendous hitter. He has all the tools. And he's going to put him on display here, driving into center field for a base hit. Nice swing by Burnside. He's on base again. The problem is no one else has been able to drive him in. High pressure situation. As there is a shot to first, and that's going to be a base hit. He thought about going for third, but thought better of it. 
Now this is where the pressure really comes on for the pitcher. You got one of the best hitters in the league who's been hitting great with runner in scoring position. Do not envy Shard Decker his current position. Up the middle, that's another base hit. He's going to the plate and he's going to score. Oh my goodness. The dads are up in front now. One that was about to nothing. as close as you get on a play there at home base. That was a bang bang play, play indeed. Decker's trying to stem the tide here. Having a tough time. Strike two. Swing and a miss. Decker got him. That's an important out. Needs to keep this momentum up. Chuff Chester up next. Hit a Batting double. The last 82. time up. That's one passed for the first strike. Just outside. Swings and hits it. Double play ball. Not in time. They get one at third. And that's all right. Here comes Javier Nash. Inside ball one. Nice Looks cut one fastball. One and one. Puts him behind. One and two. Tries to get him to chase. Can't Over quite here. get him. Feeling a little pressure. Fouls it off. Swing and he fouls it again. Nash keeping himself alive here. Oof. Full count. Swing and a Hooks miss. Him out with another strikeout. Decker gives up that one run, but that's all the dads might need. Shutters, Harley McCormick and Cody Hardfarter do up in the top of the seventh. One nothing. Softball dads. The catcher, number 18. Shutters has been playing very well defensively this year. Gets it over. Low dribbler to the shortstop. And he's going to make the play. Nice play by Shisho. Here comes Harley McCormick. Little tense right now. Can he get on base? I fly ball to right field. And. Not whoa, off, the it's off the wall. And he's on base. Here comes Hard Farter. Wind up the pitch. Fly Never ball. That's ball. a that's well hit, but right at Wrangle. Now back the shortstop, number ten. Raquel's two for two. Let's see if he can convert one more. Keep this momentum going. Oh, Just low. a little low. To the shortstop, and that's going to retire the side. I tell you what, he hit it hard, but just right at Shisho. Bottom of the seventh, Allison Doyle, Matthias Wrangle, and Ramon Schneider do up for the softball dads, who lead now one to nothing. I tell you, real. We I think we said it earlier. Real pitchers duel today. Strike one to Allison Doyle. The second baseman he grabs it and makes the conversion. For the Working one. deep into the hole. What a play! Here comes Matthias Wrangle, also known as Bad Jumps Wrangle. Swings and a miss on the uh, on the slider. Pops Hot fly. 
Can he get there in time? Oof. Not quite. Couldn't Almost. quite get to it. He tried. It was in the dirt. Can't quite get him. Swing and a miss and Decker another strikeout. Shutters, how's it going? I, I, I do not understand what you're saying, Dr. Porchup. Someone's a big smoker in his free time. I don't know who that was, but they are. Okay. Decker is on fire. 30 Ks this season. That is that is a 10 strikeouts a start. And that's phenomenal. And he strikes him out. I can't believe it. And they're down in order. Grace and Fail hunker down and Yuck Reno do up in the top of the eighth. It's still one nothing softball dads. Shutters missed her namesake's home run last game. A, a nice right field home run. It was really well put. Grace and Fail up to bat. Takes inside for a strike. Ribbler to first base. Chuff Chester takes it for herself, and that's out number one. Here comes Honker down. All it takes is one swing. Goes the ball high, count is two and one. <laughs> Hard hit ball. Let's Just foul. foul. Thank you, and that's going to be a so. walk for Honker down. Yeah, Shutters, you hit a home run. It was very nice. Reno says, hang on a second. <laughs> a little low for a ball. Hard hit, hit to second. That's going to be a double play. Rip and, boys. Some wow. pressure on themselves. Yeah, Bones Q, your guy's on the juice. Your guy, your guy has massive biceps. Bottom of the eighth. And here comes Alexis Burnside. He has been an absolute thorn in the side of this team so far. Slice it over to first. Reno's got it. What? My controller disconnected. Oh, no! <laughs> Why did that happen? <laughs> oh, no. Is your controller all right? Yeah. Okay. I just, like, nudged it a certain way. I think the cord came halfway out. Oh, well, there we go. Okay. There goes your chance. Double, double play. play and there's the double play. Reno had a brain fart. That's all right. That's all right. They got a double play anyway. Here comes Braden Shisho. Shisho does not sell Shishos by the Shishore. That joke <laughs> voted worst joke. I had to say it at least once. Fine drive. That's going to be into the gap. In for a double. She show a masterful hitter. The Brick Boys have done a good job so far of keeping him mostly shut down, but brings in a double to put her runner in scoring position here in the bottom of the eighth. Decker. Looking a little tired out there, but trying to get the job done. This might be his last batter. Break two. Can't quite get him. Full count. Hi, fastball. Manages another him. strikeout. And Tomeo is down swinging. One hit, but that's about it. Butledge Q, Dr. Porkchop, and Shutters do up in the top of the ninth. Last chance for the Brick Boys. Indeed, that joke would make the softball dads proud. 
0 for 3 for the day for Butledge Q. A little uncharacteristic of him lately. And he Ooh. hits him! Unbelievable. He hits him. I can't believe it. And here yes. comes Dr. Porkchop. Certainly don't want to give away a base like that. And they're gonna a take situation like this. They're gonna take Vigo out and they're gonna put in Cody Hale. He doesn't have a lot of accuracy, but he's got a pretty good amount of velocity and junk. He's gonna call a timeout. And now he's ready to go. A little high for a ball. Inside for a ball. Swing, it's a, oh no, is that a double play? It is! It's up to shutters. Last player on the team. Makes it for strike one. A little low for ball one. One and one is the count. Yeah, a hard hit ball. That the keeps the brick boys alive. And that's going to bring up Harley McCormick. Actually, no, it's not going to bring up Harley McCormick. <laughs> it's going to bring up. Hold on. It's going to bring up Stefan Arroyo. Arroyo. Good contact hitter. One of the best contact hitters on the team. Smashes Long into center, center, but no, nah, it does it's not fall. Brick boys are gonna fall to the softball dads, one to nothing. They don't call themselves the softball dads for nothing. I tell you, it's, it just seems whenever the brick boys lose, they either lose one to nothing or they win twenty-two to four. Good try for the Brick Boys, though. Shard Decker goes eight innings with the loss, gives up eight hits and only one earned run, striking out 13 batters. I mean, that is, that is an unbelievable number of batters. It is. Vigo Maxwell, he goes eight innings. He gives up eight hits. He walks one, strikes out one, but he gets the win. And that's what matters. Shard Decker, while striking out 13, gets the Boston Crab player of the game.